Hey guys, it's your boy Shao King, and I'm back with another video. And today we're going to talk about Shao USD and the impact that the war has on Shao USD. So basically, what I'm trying to do is uh, try to figure out strategies that are going to work, uh, even though we are still trading uh, with information that is affecting uh, gold prices due to the war. So the war between Israel and Palestine is actually uh, affecting gold prices to rise, increase, because as you know that when there's uh, the prices of metals increase, because this is the resources that are being used to finance the war and to, uh, let's say, to produce um, military equipment. So basically what I've done here is I've used a stochastic indicator to show me when price is overbought or oversold. And then I'm going to add uh, a bunch of uh, moving averages, uh, mainly the 200 moving average, the 50 moving average, and then the 13 moving average. As you can see, I'm going to use most of them on the exponential side because exponential moving averages actually uh, react faster to price than the others. Uh, the other thing that you're going to notice is the 13 moving average is the fastest and then it's followed by the 50 and the 30. The best time frame to use this strategy on will be on the 30 minutes. Uh, I'm not going to answer why this is a secret, but use it on the 30 minutes and you're going to see some results. Well, so basically I had a few entries prior to uh, conducting this technical analysis. So in order to show you what I've done, I'll have to delete the previous uh, analysis that I've done switch my chart to the line chart and then make sure that we are able to see price without the gap so basically what's happening is majority of the traders are having their um, their selling ideas based on the gap that has opened uh, during the previous weekend and this was way before or during the time when the news broke out that Israel is at war okay so you must understand that this is going to take a while before price comes back down to that level but if you look at it i'm looking at it like this if we're going to look to sell gold anywhere below 1946 is going to be a good opportunity to sell gold and hold gold all the way down to the 1815 1810 because that is where the gap happened now you have to use proper risk management in order to uh, successfully trade this okay use small lot sizes do not follow what i'm doing apart from the strategy itself practice good risk management and you will be good so basically this is what i've done here and the reason why i'm selling is because if you look carefully at my chart on the level of 18 i mean 1925 there is a cross of all moving averages okay so when all the moving averages cross downwards that indicates that price has reached a zone that previously had reacted to and this is a zone basically that price is currently retesting so 1915 1925 is a good opportunity to sell because it's right below the red line as you can see which where, this is where price sold previously and then where am i selling it to in this case i'm selling it to the next uh, crossing of the moving averages and this is where the yellow uh, the orange moving average which is uh, the 50 and the green which is the 13 moving average are going to connect and basically if you switch back to the candlestick chart you're gonna realize that that is exactly where price had formed a gap so hopefully uh, during the weekend we're not going to see gaps but I suggest that you close all your trades before the end of the day and throughout the weekend, you perform or conduct the same technical analysis using the same strategy to uh, trade during market open. So guys, stay tuned, like and subscribe to my channel as I upload more videos. From here onwards, I'll simply add a song or a sound so that you guys are then able to watch without having to listen to me. And just watch carefully, copy the strategy, use it to the maximum of your ability and maximize your profits. Enjoy guys. Thank <laughs> you.